Also, I realize people will get drunk and become dumbasses. Like, I've started to notice that. Like, people think they're the babysitters, but no, you're also the one being babysat. Like, people get a little alcohol in their system and they just start. You see true colors. I get drunk, I'm gonna just dance more. Y'all get drunk, and I don't want to say the activity is demonic, but like... And I do hope you don't think that little money is going to bring me into the shop tomorrow. Especially after what I heard tonight. Let me pack my bag, y'all. This lot is weird. And nah, let me stop. We're not going to fake the action. What's up, y'all? Good morning. So if you saw my vlog, I guess last night or whenever, wherever I put it, um, in this vlog at the beginning and the last vlog, go watch it. But I had a really weird night. And I went ahead and I just straight up asked my cousin if I heard what I heard. Because I'm hope I'm trying not to assume. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying not to assume. Okay, I don't want to have a whole fuss about it. And then it turns out and it's like, oh no. And I, most people just go and deny it. If you hear something that they either think you didn't hear or they wanted you to hear. But they don't want you to acknowledge it or bring it up. But I just went ahead and brought it up. Because I know somebody in that inner circle also said the same thing. So I was like, maybe she was referencing it. But no, I heard what I heard. It was loud. We were right in front of each other. I had no previous conversation. And then it was the comment. I was like, so anyways, I had called the one dude that was trying to get with me. That was getting on my nerves and annoying me. And was here on the phone, waking up, wanting to talk, talking about something. You're not going to stay up and talk to me, blah, 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 blah. Getting on my nerves, doing the most, trying to holler at me. And it had a whole shawty or whatever. Bro, I'm telling you, this, this circle is crazy to do this much healing. And then come back to high school behavior. Anyways, I had called him. And I was going to get a little information out of him to see if, you know, confidentiality. But I was going to see if he heard what I heard. And he acted like me calling him was the craziest thing. I said, hey, I have a question. He put a question mark. I was like, it was important. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. And then I went on undelivered on WhatsApp. This is why I don't talk to y'all or talk to anybody when I go in the shop. This is why I'm not smiley. This is why I'm not touchy feely. I had four people ask to come home or take me home yesterday. Old heads, young girl, young dude, another middle aged dude. I don't know if it's the energy I give off. I come off of like a very confident, maybe sexualized energy that I'm unaware about, like as an undertone or undercurrent or whatever. But. I'm calling, you acting like me calling the crazy, and you stay on the phone, huh? I just had a question. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I straight up asked my cousin, because whether you're drunk or not, even when I'm drunk, I don't say crazy shit. I don't mean, like, maybe in a romantic setting, but against people, like, friends, family, platonic stuff. And your man, your ex, whatever, giving me money for the pay, I, I'm good. You can keep it. Literally, I can stay home and make my shit in a day not even trying to flex i'm just being honest so no i'm not gonna stroll to the shop and get bread it's too much it's so sad because i was gonna come to y'all and be like yo yesterday was good like we had a street party i'm also not drinking why is demon juice bro like if it's not sipping on a little wine with a background aesthetic at a cafe or sipping on a cider at a pub and just giggling with friends how come i hung out with vanessa the girl y'all saw in the vlog for carnival and a day after that we, were, we hung out for like three days straight and we were sober bruh we barely had anything to drink maybe like a little sip through carnival the drunkest hornies well it's not just that but a drunk horny party which is also part of a healing cultural experience yes but the side of carnival that was drunk horny and unsafe we got through it we explored london was vibing didn't get drunk okay I had like one drink at Bali ballers and or whatever why am i hammered on the street and then more police bro more police are involved. i don't know i told you so. more police man which all police have showed up multiple times why are y'all being funny why are y'all getting drunk and want to be touchy and smiling and, da -da -da -da, and flirting and then you can't even act right in normal settings that's why i'm talking about i'm an energy person y'all energy's weird as fuck y'all energy is crazy I got a whisper in the house.
the play silent library because the landlord likes to be nosy and apparently people can't talk in the house that they're staying in but you know what i don't stay here so i'm gonna leave i'm getting yelled at in the shop or having to hear people i love get yelled at and then people trying to literally give hush money the next day like oh here's money come back or whatever the incentive will take your money i'm about to leave it for my cousin or you know what i might go get my eyebrow pierced is that this vlog let me call around is that this vlog because i was going to leave that money for my cousin but if yesterday i heard what i heard i'm gonna get my eyebrow pierced i don't want to take the money as a principal but i'm gonna get my eyebrow pierced yeah yeah suck my dick all right suck my dick but i really hope i didn't i don't know y'all that just it broke me yesterday like, how can you be so sweet and so generous and all sister vibes in that? So I asked her, we'll see what she says.